Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So this is the continuation of our video that is relational algebra part 2. So in previous video I covered relational algebra part 1 with certain um, operations like select operation and project operation and in today's video I will be continuing with the remaining operations. Okay, so let me name this video as relational algebra part 2. Okay, so let's see how much topic we'll be covering in here. So the first topic that we'll cover in this is union operation. Okay, so the for writing the union operation, we'll be representing it in with the symbol U. Okay, so let me discuss the theory part of this and after that we'll go to the question part. So what is a union? It is, it is always represented by the symbol U and it includes it includes all tuples that are in table A or in table B. Uh, okay, and it also removes or eliminates the duplicate tuple. Okay, so whatever duplicate tuple value will be there, it will be removed automatically so for example if you have a table a and b so it will be represented as a union b okay there are certain conditions for this union so here a and b must have same number of attributes okay a and b they must have same number of attributes and second condition is attribute domain need to be compatible for example if the id in one table is of integer type the it in the second table should also be of integer type only then we can perform the union operation here and the third one i already told you that is duplicate value is removed Okay, sometimes sometime they ask a question about this. What are the various conditions for performing the union operation in uh, relational algebra? So, you have, to write, you have to write these three conditions. Okay, now let's go to the question part. So, I'll be taking two tables. I'll be taking very easy tables. So, let us take two tables that is table A. Okay, table A has got two attributes we can say that is ID and name suppose the id and the name is a and b like this suppose i'm writing like this next is a table b okay again it has got the attribute like id and name and it is a and c okay so if you want to perform union operation here so what will be the sql query for this so in this i'll be discussing about the sql query as well as the relational algebra because I did not cover these parts in SQL query. So the result will be same only the writing will be different like how to write SQL and how to write the relation algebra. So let us start with writing the SQL query for this. So what will be the SQL query? So SQL query will be select ID and name. I want to print both ID and name. So I'll be writing select ID and name from from which table from table A union okay select id comma name from table b okay so this is selecting the id and name from table a and again selecting id and name from table b and we are performing the union operation if you are going to write relation algebra for the same thing what you write so you are going to write project id comma name okay from table a union project id comma name from table b that's all we are going to replace this union with a symbol u and here whatever we are writing we are going to write the project because we want to display particular id and name okay fine so here what will be the output so the output is going to be union of both of this so what is union union means it is going to contain all the value so what will be the final output of this so the final output will be id and name so it is going to contain all the attribute 
so 1 and a from here 1 and b from this table 1 and a from this table 1 and c from this table but as i told you it is going to re remove the duplicate values okay so here this value is going to be removed and it the answer will be only 1 and c so this is the answer 1a 1b and 1c so this is the table after the union operation okay so that was about union operation now let's talk about the intersection operation in this okay so what is the intersection so i hope you all know what is intersection theoretically so intersection means so two number intersection so intersection is represented by opposite of u okay it is defined by the symbol what do you call it intersection symbol between so it defines it defines a relation consisting of a set of all tuples that are in both a and b table okay so we are going to take only the attributes only the tuples that are common in both a and b so let us consider the above um, previous table only so we had table one i erase the table so i i might have used that table only so table a and b it has contained it is going to contain two attributes name and id this also id and name and it was id was one one and a b id was one one a and c so how to write the intersection command for this so if you are going to write the sql query for this same command will write select id comma name from table a intersect select id comma name from table b what will be the relational algebra for this so relational algebra will be pi id comma name id comma name table a and instead of writing intersect we are using this symbol opposite or downside u and then again project id comma name table b okay so what will be the output of this so the output of this will be id name and only the common attribute so what is the common attribute in both table it is one and a so this is the answer for intersect command okay so i'm i'm again repeating i'm covering both sql and relation algebra for these commands because i didn't cover these topics in my sql part now the last topic for this uh, part is this video is difference okay so let's go and talk about difference so the third one is third command is or we can say third query is the difference d i f a p r e n c e so it is represented by the symbol minus okay so if you write a table a minus b so what it what does it means it means that it is a relation which includes all tuples that are in a but not in b okay so also we do have some conditions for this difference also the first condition is the attribute name of a has to match with the attribute name in b okay next condition is the two operand relation a and b should be compatible okay so let us take the table for this so again we are considering the above table only or the before table only 
so let me erase this and draw the table once more time so we had taken table a and table b so it had the attribute id and name name it had also the attribute id and name and the column where 1 1 a b 1 1 a c so if you write the sql query for this so what will be the sql query same as above that is select id comma name from table a and now for sql query we will be writing this minus command minus select id comma name from table b and what will be the relational algebra for this so relational algebra will be pi id comma name from where from table a minus pi id comma name from table b so what is the output for this so the output for this will be uh, id name and what is the attribute that is if you are performing a minus b so what will be the output the output is whatever attribute is different in a whatever tuples is different in a that we are going to only so this is common so no it is not going to be included and what is the tuple that is different that is only one and b okay so this is about the difference and i think i am left out with the last command so please i'll cover in this only i think it's going to be a lengthy video still so fourth command is cartesian product so it is represented by x or cross so here cartesian product associates every tuple of r1 with every tuple of r2 so here r1 cross r2 this is the this is the operation that we are going to write so let me consider two tables and then we'll perform the cartesian product and see the result okay so here suppose we have got two tables first table is my employee table so it has some three columns that is employee id e name and e department and it has containing some three values sam hari and j and department is a c and b let us draw the another table which is the department table department table and it has containing the two attribute that is department number and department name again the department number will be a b c and department name will be marketing sales and legal this is marketing okay so if you perform this operation employee cross department so what will be the resultant table so the resultant table is going to be a big table which is going to contain everything like all the column that is eid e name e department department number and department name okay simply we are going to perform the cross product okay so what is the row it is three numbers of row is there okay so three and three are here so three into three so one 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 that is this is going to be occur for three times one 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 three times again two 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 and three 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 okay so for one what is the e name sam what is the department a here also what is the department number that is a and what is the department name that is marketing again for a that is sam this cross product this okay like this we have to form simply we are going to cross product it okay so this 
first of all we are going to do the cross product of this with first then this with second then this with third so one sam and here it is what is the a department a for the first row then the remaining two that is b and sales again the same one sam a c and legal next for second two hari c a and marketing two hari c b and sales two hari c c and legal again for third three j b a and marketing three j b and b and sales three j b c and legal okay so this is simply the cartesian product we can say so we are going to solve certain questions regarding this in, in upcoming videos there we will we'll see what happens like there are some duplicate values are there so we are simply cartesian means you are simply going to cross product is product these two tables okay so everything like column and tuples everything is going to be a product okay so that's all for these three operations so in next video i'll be covering the join operation and after that we are going to end this relational algebra theory part and again in next video we will be covering only the numerical part for this relational algebra okay till then stay safe and thank you